So today I will show you the latest development of Spectrovox. This is the new high power Cree MC LED driver. It can power the Cree MC up to 2.5 amperes and you have a peak of 2.8 amperes. If you compare these LED drivers to others, you have the advantage first that you have low voltage input, that means you can operate from 5.5 to 12 volts. And second, you have between 6 and 7 volts an efficiency of 90% with a 10 watt LED. This is really great. And this is a good performance when you drive the LED with two lithium ion batteries at 3.7 volts. This one is the microcontroller board. It controls the LED and uh, also the dimming level. And you have also a few features like um, you have an under voltage protection. That means when you are below 5.5 volts the system will shut down and through a MOSFET you will disconnect the LED drivers. When you are in the standby mode you have only a few microamperes and when you are driving the LED, for example in a torch with two lithium ion batteries with 700 milliamperes you have a standby time over one, hundred, over one year and this is really great. The second one is you have um, a temperature protection for the LED when for the case of the torch when the temperature will rise of the board above 80 degrees Celsius the whole system will shut down and you can only shut it on again when the temperature is below 70%. The other advantage is you have the possibility con to connect four status LEDs. With these LEDs you can see what is the LED making. For example, when the when the voltage is dropping down, then you see this one. the The red one is blinking. That means now you have no power again. To switch it on, you have to disconnect the power and reconnect it. This is a safety feature because of the lithium-ion batteries. Then I will demonstrate you the functions. For example, with this small torch, um, you have also the possibility first that you can combine the LED module and the microcontroller module. That means at the end you have only four wires. And uh, you have also the possibility to have the battery connector in the middle. Then, when we switch on the system, um, you have first, this is the battery level. That means at 8 volt, over 8 volt, you have all four LEDs. And at um, 7 volts, you have only three LEDs. Then you have 6 volts, and when you have under 6 volts, then you have only the last LED. That indicates um, yeah, you have to pay attention, the battery now um, is nearly empty. And as I said, when you have under 5.5 volts, the system will shut down automatically. When you push the switch a long time, you see the LEDs are blinking up. That means you are dimming now to the, uh, to the highest level, for example. And uh, during the dimming process, it will make a, a few stops between the LEDs. These stops are the power levels. When uh, you see here, uh, when we switch on the lights, we have the first time about um, 700 milliamperes. And uh, when we dim up, it will go up to 2.4 amperes. The lowest possibility is 21 milliamperes.
for the lead and uh, it is still very bright uh, you can run with two lithium ion batteries for example the lamp for a week so it's really good for emergency lights when you switch the lamp off it's in the standby mode and you need only a few microamperes I have said when you push the switch a long time during the startup then you can switch the mode for example now we have this drop mode and uh, the second one is a test one it's only dimming up and down automatically this is really great and when we have a closer look to the board then you have the pulse wide modulation of course that you have uh, a good light over the whole range when you are dimming then you have the possibility to connect the switch here and the four LEDs for the status then uh, this side is to program the microcontroller this one will be made in house and the second one is you can make here some soldering bridges the first one is that you can prevent the system for shutting down at 5.5 volts so you can uh, go down to 4.5 the LED driver is then still operating and the second soldering switch that you can make is that the system will automatically shut on when you connect the power this is normally not for example when you here disconnect the battery and reconnect it the lights is off this is a safety reason because by a torch to prevent to get blind so you have to switch it off manually this is important so that's all I wish you a good day. Have fun. Bye.